the world's greatest mysteries of science and history. You're watching the MHS Network. Yo, what is up, YouTube? Welcome back to uh, MHS Network. I'm Montana Mills. I'm Byron. I'm Coleman. And guys, it's been a while, but we are back and we are ready to start talking uh, more cold cases, cryptids, so on and so forth. So guys, tonight we have a special video for you. Byron, do you want to kind of discuss what we're going to be talking about tonight? Right. So um, I actually have to give a lot of credit and I don't like giving credit to uh, TikTok for putting us on this conversation. Um, I ended up going on to TikTok and seeing some videos come up that people were claiming the two remaining ciphers in the Zodiac Killer case have been solved by a French engineer. Um, so I sent it to the group, sent them some articles, and that is how we got to today's topic. Yes, sir. So, Brian, do you want to kind of discuss um, kind of what these, uh, kind of give some background on these ciphers? Um, background on what the supposed and possible solution was to these ciphers and then we can kind of give our thoughts right so of course um the zodiac killer is notorious uh cold case from the san francisco area um it's probably our most covered top i say probably it is our most covered topic here on mhs network um i know it's coleman it's one of your favorite cold cases i, I want to say it is your favorite cold case um yeah it, and the Zodiac is notoriously never caught, um, but he wrote, he supposedly, according to him, wrote ciphers that would reveal his identity. Um, he sent, he wrote quite a few of them throughout the years. We've solved three, four of them um, notoriously last year. The, uh, what, which one specifically was it that was uh, decrypted last year, Coleman? Uh, the Z340. The Z340 didn't reveal anything about the uh about the zodiac's identity but it kind of gave us more perspective into maybe what he believes and which may lead us better to a suspect but the z32 and uh i want to say 32 and 34 i have the numbers right here uh 32 and 13 um they are supposedly much more important to identifying the zodiac killer so the fact that someone's claiming they had actually solved them and someone with some credibility, right? Like you can go on the internet and find 80 people within the hour who claim they've solved one of these ciphers, but someone with some credibility, like this French engineer, um, that's where, that's why this became important. That's why this became a story. Yeah. And, um, <clears throat> so I know with the Z 13, um, a lot of people, put a lot of emphasis on that specific cipher because it is the famous my name is cipher um so a lot of people think that if you were to crack that then you would get his name obviously considering it's my name is dot 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 and then the cipher um the z32 is a little bit different so z32 came around the time where uh, zodiac was threatening was doing a lot of bomb threats and he was threatening to uh blow up school buses and things like this. And so and he was putting out blueprints to the press of bombs, like very detailed uh, blueprints for how he would make a bomb and how he'd set it up and where he would put it on certain roads to try to blow up vehicles and buses and things like this. Um, so that's what the Z32, excuse me, the Z32 kind of covers is apparently if you solve that solution, then you would find the location to one of his bomb sites and uh, somewhere over, I believe, Mount Diablo it is. And he's got, um, he talks about uh, I think it's, uh, man, I think Magnetic North or something like that. I mean, he's got a lot of very, like, advanced, um, very, he had some, I mean, definitely, like, with that specific cipher, Z32, it shows that he has a knowledge of sort of, like, land navigation to a certain extent, like, knowing the difference in, like, Magnetic North and True North and things like this. That's not, like, something, at least in my understanding, like, even back then, everyday people would have a knowledge of. So, you know, it already, even without it being solved, you know, kind of gives us, uh, a little bit of knowledge into you know the kind of person we're dealing with here but um, but that would be definitely an interesting cipher to solve to see if he actually gave a actual location um but in my opinion with like the z13 and i'm kind of getting off track here because we kind of still need to reference this guy's solution and 
see if it holds water. Uh, but for me, like the Z13, you know, just like the Z340, just like the the first Zodiac Cypher that was solved, I believe the Z408, if I remember correctly, um, you know, he talks about how he's going to give his name in both of those solutions, both of those ciphers, right? Uh, first one, he didn't give his name. And then Z340, he didn't give his name. Um, so it's kind of ridiculous to think that he's also going to give his name in Z13, at least in my opinion. Um, so I feel like a lot of people try to put too much emphasis on that cipher. And uh, But anyway, you know, that's just some background into those uh, into those specific ciphers from the Zodiac. So Byron, um, so what are like the solutions? What's this... Uh, what is this person kind of showing as being a possible solution based off, I guess, his research? Right. So um, this French engineer reached out to uh, the Chronicle and the New York Times and places like that. And he said and he was trying to claim that he had solved the Z13, Z32. Uh, he claims that he solved them within like an hour of sitting down trying to work on them. But he claims that um, his his solutions for these ciphers reveal Lawrence K as a uh, as the identity of the Zodiac killer. He notoriously went by the name Kane um, and died in 2010. So he claimed that he he not only solved it, but he solved who the Zodiac killer was. Is there? Is there a solution within one of these articles? I, I know in the in the Chronicle, I don't see one, and I'm looking at this other um, article right from, now. I just want to know. I want to know his method. Right towards the middle, um, there is a part here where he asks uh, the the engineer. I would love to pronounce the engineer's name for you, but I am going to butcher it. We have had Google translate it for us, and we're still going to butcher it. Um, Faisal Ziraoui. Just, just look up French engineer Zodiac Killer. You'll see his name. Um, but from, from what I'm understanding, he would not send him the actual solution. Um, and I'm also not seeing any methodology revealed here. I can check the times piece which would be maybe more helpful. <laughs> um, I read something for like the Z13. He did something weird with like adding or subtracting numbers. It was, it was really yeah, weird. I saw there was a, wasn't it like a box method or something, Colvin? Something, yeah. It's, um, but Montana, try to find the solutions and whatever and how he did it, if you can, at least for the Z13 or one of them. And as soon as you yeah, find I'm out, gonna... just interrupt me and, and tell him and start talking about it. Yeah, I'm um, looking right now. All right, so three, two. Yeah, so, you know, like, we're just kind of, the issue with this, you have to understand is, like, this is still kind of, I guess you could say, breaking news. It's it's literally something that we're uh, reacting to off the spot. So we're trying to, they're on the spot, excuse me. So we're just, you know, we're just like you guys trying to learn more about this, trying to figure out, you know, how did this guy solve it? What was um, his method of coming up with a solution? Um, but just in the mean, so Montana's looking at that. So yeah, I feel like we're like, <laughs> we're like a newscast right now. Like Montana's doing like live research or whatever, and I'm trying to keep the, the live stream going. But anyway, it's funny. So actually, I have his, I have his solution here. Okay. Um. Okay, so he it. he applied the same uh, the same cipher that they did for the Z34 cracking. And then from there, he believes that the Zodiac, because it all it did was give him a series of random numbers. So he believes from there, um, it created a, oh, I don't even remember the name, a series of numbers that correlate to, to letters, right? I forget quite what that specific type of cipher is called, but they're super easy to solve. They're some, they're some of the easiest ciphers to solve. So he went from there and cracked that code and got the answer for the uh for the location of one of his bombs labor day find 45.069 north 58.719 west and he believes that the same uh solution the same cipher and everything applied to the second the my name is um 
Cypher because one thing that he talks about in this article is he talks about how the My Name Is and the Z32 are both so short, so small, that it's going to be really hard to solve them because you don't have a large sample size to, des to test an actual encryption key on, uh, which is fair. But he believes that um, his solution gave him that answer, and he believes that the, his solution for the second one gave him the, gave him the letters K A Y R, which he uh, attributes to uh, Kai Lawrence or Lawrence Kai. Sorry, Lawrence Kane. Lawrence Kai. Well, yeah, that's what. So that's what I noticed as well. So he attributes. So he 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 says that links to Lawrence Kane, which for anyone who doesn't know, Lawrence Kane is a uh, well-known Zodiac suspect uh, for a lot of people. He is, is, you know, to them, a top suspect in the Zodiac case. Um, there's some issues there, though. For me, you know, like, for example, Lawrence Kane suffered, a, he had a, he was in, I believe he was, he served some time in the military. I can't remember, I think it was the Navy, I could be wrong, but he had some military time, which for the Zodiac case is pretty important when you have a suspect, because a lot of people believe Zodiac was, uh, prior military of some of some kind, which is where he got experience with, for example, uh, you know the ciphers, because um, especially back in like World War II, you know a lot of a lot of our communications were done via you know in the military. A lot of the U.S.'s communications were done through ciphers and encrypted type stuff, and so that was something that especially a lot of people in the Navy had to learn. So military is pretty important, not to mention all the military blueprints, things like this uh, that were found at I believe it was the Lake Berryessa crime scene. Uh, if I remember correctly. Um, so a lot of people do believe that, you know, Zodiac had some type of military background. So Lawrence Kane, you know, meets that requirement. Uh, and also he was in a vehicle accident. And it is noted that um, I believe he had to visit, you know, some type of psychologist or some type of, you know, medical professional after his accident. And this medical professional noted that, um, you know, Lawrence Kane had issues controlling his urges and um, so a lot of people think that after this accident, this could have caused him to, you know, become the Zodiac, I guess you could say, and, and because of this, you know, of this accident that affected his mind, affected his brain. Uh, but, you know, there's issues. Lawrence has issues, for example, with, you know, he doesn't meet a lot of the physical criteria. Of course, the, pro the problem with Lawrence as a, as a suspect, as a leading man for the, Zo for the Zodiac killer role is that he didn't quite meet the physical the physical requirements or the physical description that many eyewitnesses had given of Zodiac. He uh he what he wasn't as tall. He he was, he was stocky, like Zodiac was often described as, but he wasn't nearly as tall as Zodiac was described as. He also didn't even have the right hair color, right? Completely different hair color. Um if it, if it were one mistake or the other, if he wasn't quite as tall, I could probably forgive that. But like, you have to think between a between an injury that would yes maybe make him a little unstable, but would also make him less organized. The Zodiac was a deviously organized person, right? Um, you know, you don't make ciphers if you're not <laughs> like upright upstairs, right? Um, I don't think the Zodiac had a problem with his mental ability to do things. I think Zodiac had a problem with his moral compass. Um, he found himself righteous in his killings. Um, I don't think that's something that I could say for Lawrence. Yeah, I mean, you know, whether or not Lawrence, you know, to the extent of the issues he had with his injury, I think it's pretty, uh at least in my opinion, it's, it's a pretty significant stretch to say, okay, he had this injury, unfortunately, that caused him issues with controlling his, you know, sudden urges. Does that mean he's a serial killer? Does that mean he's writing letters and, you know, having this insane alter ego called the Zodiac and, you know, sending letters to the press and, you know, you know, murdering people, murdering couples and lovers lanes and, you know, very heinous ways. So, you know, there's issues there for one that makes me doubt this cipher solution just because it doesn't really link to, in my opinion, a very credible suspect. And mm -hmm. from what I understand, I'm not an expert in ciphers at all, but from what I understand, um, a lot of people have expressed doubt already on this individual solution. Um, I think using the same mes method from the 340 is kind of the wrong way to go. 
Uh, I feel like Zodiac probably just because he used a different cipher solution for both the 408 and the 340, in my opinion, he probably would have used some type of different, you know, method of some kind, some type of different encryption method for both the uh, the Z32 and the Z13. I just don't, I don't see him using the same, you know, the same, like I said, type of encryption method for these ciphers. I think that's kind of a, a, a wrong assumption. Right. And it, it, if you want me to reveal the biggest turn here for everyone, uh, sources inside the FBI and sources within San Francisco PD, uh, neither of them believe this is actually credible. Both of them think it's just another high-level attention seeker kind of capitalizing on the Z340 solution to try and get some attention. Yeah, well, with that being said, you know, we have less than a minute left, and I think that's a perfect way to end off. Guys, comment down below what your guys' thoughts are. Do you think this is a legit solution, or do you have some doubts on it? Let us know in the comments below. Like this video, share it. We'll see you guys next time. My name is Coleman. I'm, I'm Byron. Montana. And I'm Montana. <laughs> Peace out.